was always dressed in black. Long black jacket, broad black hat, sometimes a cape, and as thin, and as thin as rubber tape, black Max. He would raise that big black hat to the big shots in the town who raised their hats right back, never knew they were bowing to Black Max. I'm talking about nights in Rotterdam, where the right night people of all the town would find what they could in the night neighborhood of Black Max. There were women in the windows with bodies for sale, dressed in curls like little girls in little dollhouse jails. When the women walked the streets with the beds upon their backs, who was lifting up his brim to them, black backs. <laughs> for sale the art of the smile only certain people walk that mystery mile artists charlatans vaudevillians men of mathematics acrobatics and civilians there was knitting needle music from the lady organ grinder with all her sons behind her marco Vito. Benno, was he strong, though he walked like a woman. And Carla, who was five, he must be still alive. Ah, poor Carlo had the sip. And in those days, if you didn't take the terrible cure, you went crazy and died. And he did. And at the coffin, before they closed the lid, raised his lid. Black Max. I was climbing on the train, one day going far away to the good old USA, when I heard some music underneath the tracks. Standing there beneath the bridge, long black jacket, broad black hat, playing the harmonica one hand free to lift that hat to me. Black Max, Black Max. <laughs> <laughs>